CB layout in a dip trace from a schematic. So dip trace uh, software uh, uh, is having schematic capture. So first you launch this schematic capture and uh, in this I will tell you how to do a regulated power supply to regulate uh, plus 5 volt uh, layout uh, that is a PCB for a regulated power supply so basically what all the component needs uh, can see it in the display so what I need I need uh, let us say rectifier that is a bridge rectifier okay you select that uh, bridge rectifier so to select the components you have to select uh, in this go to place component and uh, from that uh, you drag down and uh, select diode bridge rectifier in that you will get so many bridge rectifiers select one bridge rectifier then you need a capacitor okay so you select this capacitor go to this general and select capacitors you need two capacitor one on input side and output side of the <coughs> regulator okay then you need a regulator so search uh, there is another option to uh, search the components okay go to this uh, find component tab and uh, type your ic number 78 let us say 05 then uh, should say all the libraries search it you will get the list of uh, ICs available so so select uh, uh, okay this one seven eight zero for you and uh, you need a transformer okay so from this place component uh, transform power chassis select this one six six b one eight you need uh, two primary sides and three secondary uh, terminals for the transformer then you need uh, uh, at the output side you need register to select that uh, go to again general and uh, type just R select this RS, RES register 400 ok you need one register then all the circuit should have a ground so to select a ground go to netports and uh, from this you select ground okay then primary of the primary side of the transformer you take connector so I need two pin connector so that is the component name is 51022 -0200. Search that so it is displaying this okay uh, jumper place the components now Okay, to rotate the uh, capacitor, I need uh, capacitor in vertical direction. Select that and uh, click R. Can move them to any place. 
click on them and so i need one more image that is led you should want to have an led go to general and type led rotate this now make a connection so you should make a to make a connection go to this tab place wire so first make transformer connection then uh, this should be connected to center tab and that should be grounded okay so this pin number two of uh, regulator should be grounded Rotate with register also. Now select and uh, click on R and place it properly. So it looks uh, nice. So this is a schematic uh, doing schematic, you know deep trace so from this we can create a pcb save this with uh, let us say regulator and go to the file so here there is an option convert to pcb Use schematic files. So this is how it appears in a PCB layout. You can even now bring the components closer so that uh, well, they should not be no overlap in uh, okay now you have to make uh, traces so for a single layer pcb bottom side will have traces and top side you will have <coughs> components so select this is a bottom to draw the traces see route manual is there so click on this and start drawing the router whichever the line is highlighted try to connect them now What I am doing, 
routing the lines manually by clicking on this route manual tab okay so we call the traces so you think uh, the corner should not be at right angle because it will act as an antenna and uh, the radiations will happen so avoid the uh, edges so to avoid overlap draw below the transformer Okay. Mm. So make a connection such that no two lines overlap because it is a copper line. Uh, that will make a short circuit you, even you can zoom zoom it out so this is the jumper to make a power supply connection okay that's it now we have drawn the traces so you can increase the size of the traces by selecting and right click you can find this so in mm it should be around 1.5 mm so that it looks a thick line okay now you if uh, run up uh, electric rules okay so here there is overlap that we can avoid change the trace width okay now again run this verification so see there is no error now the last step is copper pouring to do that to save our etching solution this two step is must in our lab so click on this place copper pour select your gold Click enter now clearance. Okay, keep some one mm so that there is a gap between the copper core and see this is your PCB layout. And to view this, there is a 3D view here. Click on this. So it will show some approximate uh, PCB. Uh,